John, you, you and Marjorie Taylor Greene are both furious, Clark. Good Wednesday morning to you and America, January 4th, 2023, the year of our Lord. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't forget one or two shows into the end of the year that that was going to be the thing that That's you're going to stick thing. with. I, we declared at the end of 2022 that we were going to become the machine gun Kelly of podcasts. And the best way to do that is to suck up to Marjorie Taylor Greene. So here we go. <laughs> Let's hear it. Representative from Georgia, Marjorie Taylor Greene, AKA trailer park trash, AKA the cheater said Tuesday that she was furious with her friends in the conservative house freedom caucus for pressing pressing Representative Kevin McCarthy for committee seats before the House votes on the California Republic's bid to become Speaker. The New York Post reports. Shout out to the New York Post. Hey, if I'm breathing, I'm ripping off an episode. <laughs> I'm rip ripping off an episode from them because I am a leech on their yes. Butt. Marge of Georgia, who backs McCarthy for the gavel, claims some of her fellow Republicans, including alleged. Sex trafficker Matt Gates of Florida were positioning themselves for plum panel assignments. I, I okay, that must be hick talk. I don't know what plum panel assignments is. It means good. It oh, means okay. good. Well, why, why, why don't they just say good? Because it's it's a New York Post article, man. <clears throat> well, it's true. A bunch of New Yorkers the, are like, "How's your girlfriend doing? She's plum." The writing, the writing of it, <coughs> is like half the fun. Nothing is as bad as the Daily Mail. But anyways, I digress. Assignments during ongoing talks meant to smooth the path for McCarthy to win the speaker's gavel. Matt Gates was quoted as saying, we have been negotiating, talking, debating back and forth in our conference, trying to come to a really good rules package. And it's amazing. As a matter of fact, I don't know what's amazing for a matter of fact. That's where the quote cuts off. Come on, New York Post. I expect more from you. That was the quote, man. It's not their fault. That was the quote. Well, we are talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates, So, you yeah. know, the, the 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 creek isn't too deep there up and down in Georgia, man. <laughs> During the conference meeting, Green said she learned that three members were demanding positions for themselves, demanding gavel positions, demanding subcommittees, demanding for people to be taken off committees. And people to be put on committees demanding that their mistresses are hidden from their wives. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. No. They want him to be Oprah. You get a gavel and you get a gavel and you get a gavel. Hey, I thought Republicans and conservatives were the party of personal responsibility. Now we're doing a shakedown on the entire country for me to get some uh, positioning here. Yeah, yeah. It's not the Republican Party you grew up with, Matty Ricks. Nope. This is not the party of Reagan. This is now the party of Marge and her trailer park crew. <laughs> Green, who was stripped of her committee assignments in February 2021 over her controversial comments about QAnon, she supported it, said she didn't seek one for herself. Well, no, because she's got a divorce and an, and, and, and a, what was it, a tantric sex guru? <laughs> yeah, that's what the alleged claim was, was that she cheated on her husband with a uh, tantric sex guru. Well, she's busy. She can't be bothered with, with subcommittees right now. She says, the only thing I have done is debate and request and argue among my peers for the right things, for the rules package and for our agenda for the American people. And that's the only thing I've done. Totally. Says the... Says the um, Cheater, I'm the only Republican that has zero committees. So you would think I would be the one in there asking for something. Well, aren't you just a little bit of a of a martyr there, Marge? But I haven't done that, she says. But I find March out that it's, it's my Freedom Caucus colleagues and my supposed friends that went and did that. And they asked nothing for me. OK, <sighs> there it is. OK. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. New York Post, you kind of buried the lead on this one. Marge isn't pissed that they're doing this. Marge is pissed that they didn't ask for her. Hey, 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 when you go in there and you hijack the country and we don't have a speaker of a house, why don't you throw something on there for Marge, all right? Throw a little subcommittee on the fire for old Marge, all right? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Representative, Call it whatever. 
Representative Scott Perry of Pennsylvania, one of a handful of Republicans staunchly opposed to Kevin McCarthy, acknowledged to Fox News Tuesday that the Freedom Caucus sought committee seats before the vote for speaker. But he said Gosh. McCarthy turned down their demands. You know, good for good for Kevin McCarthy that he found his yeah. spine again after a yeah. few years <laughs> of it being inserted up Trump's butt. <laughs> You took the words right out of my mouth. You know, on a more serious note, the thing that I think makes me the most mad about this is now Kevin McCarthy. The Republicans technically have a majority in the House, right? Yeah. And now Kevin McCarthy, to make this thing happen, is going to have to go beg for votes from the Democrats. And you know what the Democrats are going to do. They're going to smile really big and they're going to be like, hey, Kevin, we'll vote for you. But what are you going to give us? And when they do that, essentially the Democrats have the majority. When the Republicans have to go begging for, for Democrats from, for votes, Democrats have the majority. They own the House still, even though they're the minority, uh, even though their boy is the minority leader. I can't think of his name right now. Um, but even though they've got somebody else as the minority leader, yeah. Yeah, uh, the Democrats have the majority and the minority because uh, from now till the end of the next term, Everything has to go through the Democrats to get passed. Everything does. Do so, you know? Do you know that Democrat minority leader Hakeem Jeffries got more votes? Got more votes than Kevin McCarthy <laughs> in three votes. That doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me at all. House Democrats on Tuesday took to Twitter for victory laps after minority leader Hakeem Jeffries earned votes from all all hey Republicans. All Democrats voted yeah. for Hakeem Jeffries, 212 of them, uh, besting California Representative Kevin McCarthy in the first veiled, veiled vote to elect a House Speaker since 1923. World War One. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Uh, Jeffries wrote, House Dems are united and ready to get to work and added that the GOP <laughs> had complete chaos on the other side of the aisle. Good for him. Good for him. He's not wrong. I mean, good for him. Progressive Caucus Chair Pramila Jayapala of Washington. Sure, that's what her name is. Noted that members might be here a while. A nod to House rules that require a speaker to be elected before any other business can be considered. And observe that GOP control of the chamber is really getting off to a good start. Now, uh. so you have... Here we go. I mean, like, 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 we're going, I'm going to break this down as simple as possible. Hit me. You have the progressive caucus, which I guess would be the left's version of the freedom caucus. The freedom caucus. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then you have your moderate Democrats and you have your blue dogs and then you got your traditional liberal and all this stuff. And they all come together to support their dude. Meanwhile, the Lauren Boberts of the world and the Matt Gates and the Scott Perry's and all these people, all of these people who for some reason are sucking up to Trump want to who's not going to win in 2024, who ain't going to win. There's no chance. I, go to Vegas, put money on it. Yeah. Zero shot. All of them right now are basically showing the American people. Hey, when we said to vote for us, we're just adding more chaos to the, to the thing that's all yeah. we're doing and the democrats yeah. are right to say that yeah we're not actually going to accomplish anything you voted for us to cut us a check that's what you did jim jordan is garnering garnering enough votes to sink mccarthy's bid he got 20 votes in the second and third round of voting he doesn't want it though right he like he's straight up saying he, he doesn't want it he voted for mccarthy <laughs> so that makes sense Oh, crap. So um, Massachusetts Representative Jim McGovern, Democrat, noted that his California counterpart's troubles were his own fault. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't disagree with that. He says Republicans have bent over backwards for the radical right, election deniers, and QAnon tinfoil hat brigade, he wrote on Twitter. The extremists hi have hijacked the Republican Party. Now they're trying to hijack Congress. We will fight back, he said. 
Another veteran member, Democrat Bill Pascrell of New Jersey, didn't even bother using many words to describe the chaos on the House floor when he che- when he tweeted, on their first day in power, the White House Republicans with a dumpster on fire. Hat tip to Bill Pascrell Jr. for the awesome tweet. Listen, but let's let's be real, okay? Just just for the Democrats to pretend for a second that they've got all of their crap together is funny too. I see this is the political grandstanding I can't stand. The Republicans, yeah, absolutely dumpster fire. Bill Pasqu- Pascal, I don't know Pascal. how to say his name. Whatever. Bill, nice tweet. You got it. You nailed it with just your one liner. These other people who are like, we're going to fight back. What do you mean you're going to fight back? What are you going to do? Storm the Capitol? No, I think what they're going to do is prove that you can't trust Republicans in a Trump era. Yeah. Well, we're probably and right. shout out to the intern of Bill Pascrell for coming up with that awesome tweet because, you know, he didn't do it. Oh, what is he like? 74? Probably. Yeah. yeah. He's one of them who allegedly wants to hide mistresses from his wife. But I'm just saying, (laughs) he's a politician. (laughs) They all do. No, I mean, listen, like Democrats own the moment. Like, don't don't do what you're going to do, which is, you know, become, you know, put AOC in charge of the party and let her speak. But own the moment that Republicans are too chaotic to get anything done. And see. And hammer that home for the next two years. And Republicans deserve to lose. Here's the thing. You know that like all, two years ago, you and I had conversations before before we started this podcast, just shooting the breeze on the phone. And I said, uh, after Biden was elected, I said, I even posted it to my Facebook page. Some of the effect of Republicans are going to clean up in 2022 in the midterms because wrong. Democrats are going to screw this up. You were wrong. All Republicans have to do is not do anything stupid. And what did they do? Like the entire political cycle, stupid thing after stupid thing after stupid thing. They tried to make Hunter Biden a point of a you talking mean, point. You mean Republicans did stupid things? Yeah, Republicans. You That's who Demo- I'm talking about right yeah, you now. You said Democrats. Sorry, sorry. They wanted to make Hunter Biden a talking point. Like people actually care about what's going on with him. They wanted to try to take away your birth control. They couldn't stop at just getting Roe v. Wade overturned and giving it back to the states. Now they now you, the more far right ones are going to try to go after birth control and contraceptives, which is stupid. And they they completely started bringing up things that didn't matter to the American people. All you had to do for two years was talk about the economy, you morons. All you had to do was talk about the economy, and you would have cleaned up. Now, I say all that basically to say all the Democrats have to do right now is not screw it up. Don't do anything stupid. They will. Stay, stay moderate left, but you know you know they will because they're politicians. But here's, you know they will. But here's the thing. They'll screw it up. But it will not be nothing compared to the Trump Republicans that screw yeah. like that just screw up everything these days. And I'm not talking yeah. about the normal Republicans. I'm not talking about Representative Nancy Mace out of out of South Carolina, who would be you know considered a rhino to these morons. Mm-hmm. Um, by the way, tomorrow night we're going to have a uh, a friend on who is a ultra ultra MAGA supporter who's going to tell us why this is a good thing. So I can't wait. Uh, get the popcorn. But I mean, this is like I'm watching the vote on Tuesday because I'm a nerd and I find this stuff to be fascinating. But and I'm sitting here going like you, you, you asked people for the chance to lead. And now, according to Marjorie Taylor Greene, we're hijacking the country. We can't get to work. We're fighting. We're showing the American people that this is what Republicans are. All over you wanting committee spots and then Marge hey. is mad. And then you don't even get Marge a spot. Hey, listen, if Marjorie Taylor Greene, this is like Kanye on Alex Jones right now. If Marjorie Taylor Greene is the voice of reason in the Republican Party. Republican Party screwed. <laughs> yeah, they are in screwed. trouble, dude. They are in trouble. So, I mean, we'll be back. I mean, listen, they, they're they um, 
Congress will reconvene at noon Eastern time to do the fourth vote. I don't think they have it again. Mm-hmm. No, you got people. You got people like Matt Gates who are saying this could go to March or April. Um, and here's the deal: until the Republicans get off their butts and actually do something, no bills can be passed. Nothing can be put on the floor. We can't fix the border issue. We can't drain the swamp. We can't relitigate Arizona in 2020. Whatever you people want. And it's a suicide mission for Republicans right now. Every single one of them should should be voted out next cycle. Every single one of them should be voted out. I don't care if it's a Democrat or a Republican or an independent that replaces them. Every single one of them should be voted out. And I'm a Republican. I'm a conservative. I'm a registered. Cons- I'm a registered Republican. But I'm sick of these people. I'm sick of them. What do you I- think? What do you think is going to happen next December when there's a budget? Oh, it's not going to pass. It's not going to pass. No, they are going should... to sink the American economy and yep. all of the workers with it. All yep. of the workers with it. And then, 100%. Matt, and then Matt Gates and the phony Freedom Caucus, you know, they'll blame the Republicans. And these people who dive into this Freedom Caucus crap are going to sit there and be like, yeah, yeah, it's the best thing to happen. Because I honestly think, man, I honestly think if you're a Trump supporter, and you're buying into this Matt Gates stuff and everything. You want to see the country burn. Yeah. You, you, yeah. you, you, you want to see January 6th happen again. I you really believe are that. What you say the Democrats are. Yeah. Right. Like you are what you say the Democrat. You, you, you are doing everything you can to destroy America. Period. You are. And the Republican uh, Party. This is now the party that the Democrats can link to. Look, they don't even like they don't even want to have a Congress in session. Yeah, because they're too busy fighting and too busy trying to take their ball or their vote and go home. And what does this do for 2024? Like, first of all, I don't think anybody's interested in another Biden presidency, Democrat or Republican. Nobody's interested in that. But he's going to win if he runs because Trump's going to run. I mean, he's already he's already basically said he's going to run independent. Right. If 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 the Republicans don't give him the nomination no. and he's not going to get the nomination. I, I agree with you. I'm going to side with your prediction and I'm going to say our boy, Ron DeSantis in Florida is going to get the, uh, is going to get the nod for the uh, Republican nomination. And if Trump, if Trump runs independent, he'll take enough votes from, he'll take enough votes from, uh, from Ron DeSantis that, that Biden's going to win in a landslide and he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's going to destroy. He's going to destroy the party. He's going to destroy any chance that Republicans and conservatives have. And if I was a Democrat right now, I would be I would be celebrating. I'd be jumping up and down because, again, you're going to get exactly what you want for the next six years, at least. At least if if I was Kevin McCarthy right now, what I would do is I would make deals with the Democrats. Get your 20 votes and you ignore these freedom caucus people for the next two years. Yeah. Just pretend they don't exist. I agree a hundred percent. The congressional um, committee for reelection and campaigns that gives these fools money every year, every two years to run, you cut them off. You cut them off. Look, if this is what you want to do to like our party and our nation, and this is what the narrative you want the narrative to be, you're done. We're done with you. Go, go sit your butt in that uh, seat and vote. Yeah. And and then go go get on Tucker Carlson. But we will not give you any money to run. We're not going to you will have no committees. We're, we're done with you. And that's what he should be independent, yeah. being independent. Who cares? Yeah. I don't I, we don't need you anymore. Yep. Go. I mean, that's what I would do. Like I and I and I if Kevin McCarthy should get up there and say, I struck a deal with the Democrats. This is what we're going to do. I had to do this. To get the country to go into work, to get Congress going, to get these freaking Congress people sworn in. Yep. Because the Republicans, because the Freedom, the Freedom Caucus, call it out, Kevin McCarthy, grow a pair, mm-hmm. call it out and say they want to hijack the country. They want to hijack this. And we got to get to work for the American people. Be uh be a statesman instead of a politician. Be a statesman instead of some MAGA person. Be a statesman yeah. instead of a Republican. Do what you got to do. Shove it down their throats. You're fine. Okay? You'll become the speaker. You're fine. And just call it a day. 
just be blunt, dude. Just be blunt. Just yep. be like, be as, be as clear and as blunt as you possibly can and say, look, if it, I would call him out by name. I'd call him out by name on the floor. If yep. it wasn't for this person, this person, this person, this just go all, all, all 20 names. I wouldn't have had to make deals with the Democrats. I wouldn't have had to get in bed with the enemy. If you want to call them that. And, and, and I wouldn't have had to do all of this stuff to, to, to get us to work, but I did. And now I'm going to have to make deals with them for the rest of the term, yep. for the rest of the two year cycle, I'm going to have to make deals with them. And you can blame these fools over here. Yep. These fools over here. And, and you know what, if I was him, I would have, I would have tweeted out a picture of me having dinner with AOC on, on uh, Tuesday night. I don't need you, Matt Gates, because Honestly, what you say the Democrats are all about, they want to harm America, they want to destroy America. What are the Republicans doing? What are these 20 fools doing right now? Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, they're they're pretending like they're grandstanding on principle. And mm -hmm. and what it's all about is is they're just trying to put on a show. Um, I mean, it literally, literally, Congress has become the most insane reality show. Like VH1 couldn't have scripted this show. VH1 couldn't have made this up on their own. You know, the, the, the same people that came up with the Flavor Flav show and the Rock of Love. And, Don't you say anything you bad know. about Rock of Love. <laughs> <laughs> like, none of those people that came up with those shows that I considered absolutely bananas when I watched them 10 years ago, 15 years ago, however long it was, nobody could have scripted this what's happening in American politics right now. That's all it is. It's a big reality show. It's and disgusting. It's, and it's the Republicans. Yeah. Who yeah. asked for majority. Yeah. And we got it. They got it. They got and it. And, and, and now day one, you've given it up. Day one, you've given up the majority because this, now you forced the Speaker of the House to make deals with Republicans. This would be like Democrats. This would be like, you know, asking a woman to marry you. She says yes. And then you go out and cheat on her that night. Like, you're just like, <laughs> Oh, I just abused your trust on the first day. Yeah, yeah. Day one, dude. Day one. No time at all. Well, tune in tomorrow night um, because we're going to, I mean, I do. I'm, I, I think I just might pull the food back out and eat and let John Clark <laughs> and our MAGA supporter just go at it. And I'm just going to sit yeah. here and just, you know, play with my hair. Hey, it looks good tonight, buddy. I got a haircut. So anyways. Hey. Anyways, the rants.com for your um rants stuff. Yeah, rants rants needs. All your rants needs can be met at the rants.com. Please send us an email. Check if, out our socials. If you want to be if you want to rebut on the show, send us an email and tell us why. And yeah, we'll we'll yeah. probably bring you on. That's the thing. Heck, heck yeah, dude. Yeah, heck yeah. Tell us why we're going in front of a military tribunal. Again, please es tell us. Especially for John Clark purposes, if you will show him the soles of your feet while we're on the air. <laughs> All right, Johnny Clark, we'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, go Republicans, go, because you are the gift that keeps on giving to the show. Get those votes, baby. <laughs>